Hi there. I thought I would show you uh, my version of a light box today. What I have is, the reason why it's so bright here is I've got the, um, I'm using my sliding door in my dining room and uh, this is a small piece. Sometimes I do bigger pieces and I actually will stand up, but uh, today I'm sitting down just to give my back a rest. And so what I've done is I've taped up a piece of uh, tracing paper that has um, a black pen drawing, ink pen drawing on it. And then on top of that, I've traced my cotton fabric. It's actually PFD, prepared for dyeing fabric, a small piece. Uh, this piece is only eight by 11. And then what, what I do is I trace all of the lines uh, and I don't have to have all the little details on this one because um, trees are, are quite easy to do uh, free form and as long as I have just kind of a general idea of where the trees are, it's fine. Um, I've also traced the outline of the little, uh, the little old barn or shed. Um, and before I take it all off, I will double check to make sure that I can, that I can see it on the fabric. I don't have to take the whole piece of fabric down, but I found what works is if I, I know you probably, you won't be able to see that on the camera, I'm sure, but if I put my hand actually behind it, away from the tracing, I can see that I've got uh, most of the pencil lines there. So um, this, is, this is one way to transfer. I know people have lots of other ones. I've done them on my computer. This one I actually wanted it, I printed this out on an 8x11 size and this is the size I want to do and it's because I'm trying out uh, some painting methods on, on fabric because I have a much larger piece that I want to work on and um, I've already tested the paints to see what they'll look like and I think I know which how I'm going to do it but I thought it might be a good idea since the other piece, piece is, is really large to give something smaller a, a, a try first. And, and just test it and see how I like the different fabric paints. Well, the two that I'm primarily going to be trying out is uh, I used a Cita color fabric paint. One was opaque and the other was transparent. And on my larger design, I really liked the opaque one. And I will see which one I'm going to use on this one. I'm, maybe I'll even use a combination. The transparent might be nice in, in the background sky and um, trees. We'll see, but it's, it's a small enough piece that I can test it out on. Um, so my large piece that I have, and it's already already traced onto my fabric and ready to go, I did it um, over the holidays. My husband borrowed uh, an overhead projector from his work, and I actually traced several patterns that I was interested in on the fabric. There's a, a, couple, a few birds that I did in different sizes, and then I traced this other large one that's of a rock with some foliage and flowers growing on it. Um, and I had never tried that before. And the thing I like the most about the overhead projector is that sometimes I use the method where I would print my piece out on an 8x11, cut it into four quarters, scan each quarter back into the computer, and print each of those quarters out onto a full like 8 by 11 sheet so that would give me you know a fairly large piece um, but I wanted to go even bigger and so I decided to try the overhead projector and see what it was like and what I found um, with it is it's easy for one thing it's uh, electronic you just have the picture in your uh, computer and you just project it onto the wall and then but the big thing is that you can project it any size so you can try it out and try out the size because what happens with me is that um, it's not too bad if I'm just adjusting the size on my computer and printing it myself but if sorry for the sun shining in here if I um, if I want to go quite big uh, sometimes you don't always know how a piece is going to look when it's enlarged depending on how many uh, how much detail there is how many empty spaces there are so you, I could send it to one of the office stores and have them enlarge it for me. But again, I don't really know how it's going to come out. So that's what I found that is the real advantage with the overhead projector. You can put it on your, tape your fabric up on the wall, 
uh, project your image and then you can make it larger or smaller and or you can print out some different sizes um, by print I mean trace I just took a pencil and I uh, I traced around the design right on the wall um, but you know it gives you a real idea of what the piece would look like enlarged and I really like that um, so this one I we borrowed from my husband's work over the holidays and and it's going to be going back but um, I just wanted to see how it would work and you know if in the future it might be work, worth the investment they're a little bit pricey but you can get small ones that aren't aren't um, too too bad so we'll see uh, for now but um, I just wanted to, to do this size today and test out my paints on my fabric see how they were going to work before I do something uh, in a larger size so uh, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of insight Thank you. 